All right, welcome YouTube peeps. We are on Q34, and we are looking at Wednesday's homework. We're going to be doing the area, naming the shape, making a model of three-fourths, and we'll do a couple of the word problems here. All right, so we have this irregular, awkward shape. you got to figure out where to cut it. I'm going to cut it right here. Now you just need to find the area of the two regular shapes. You can use your hand so you can kind of see it better. What is that? Oh, that's just a seven by two. You can see up on the uh, projection screen. Seven by two is 14. Use your hand so you can isolate the other one. Whoa, we got a lot going on there. You don't want to use the 11 because that 11 includes that piece. So you want to use the 9 and 9, which is 81. Add them up using standard algorithm. 95 inches squared. Name the shape. Uh, that looks like a parallelogram. Opposite sides parallel. Yes, that, that line and that line are parallel. That line and that line are parallel and equal length so as long as this side and this side are equal length and this side and this side are equal length that is true of this two l's all right what else is true of this all the sides look to be the same length on this one so that's a rhombus Okay, trapezoid, no, trapezoid only has opposite sides are parallel. Okay, only one pair. I think that is it. I mean, you could say it's a quadrilateral too, but that's kind of, you could say it's a polygon. Remember a polygon, straight sides, closed shape. A polygon has straight sides and it's a closed shape. Draw a model for three-fourths. You know me, I recommend making rectangular models, not circles. If it's an even number, you can cut it in half. Then you can cut those halves in half. One slice, two out of four, three out of four. The line right there means out of or divide in a fraction. The top number is called a numerator. The bottom number is called the denominator. All right, Wednesday, De Juan has six quarters. He uses three of his quarters to purchase a pack of gum. What fraction of his quarters did he purchase? It doesn't say that we have to use that number line. Those of you, you may not even have to use, it doesn't say to use it. So three out of six. This is just a tool. The number line is just a tool. If you know that it's three out of six and it doesn't say you have to use it, sometimes it'll say, draw a picture using the number line, then you have to use it. But if it doesn't say, <clears throat> but how could I show that? We need to cut this number line into six slices. Cut it in half. And we got three slices over there, three slices over there. One out of six, Mr. P's eating. Two out of six, three out of six. That's what it would look like if you were to make a model. All right, hopefully that helps you with Q34 Wednesday homework.